this is Noreen from Joya Cards, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! Anyway, um, today I am making this really easy card. I have a lot going on at work for the next two weeks, and I have to make some quick cards, so I keep my videos going here. So I got a quick one for you. It's really cute. I love this countryside corners and the reason why i got this out of the new 2324 catalog is because of the shapes but this stamp does a lot more than i bargained for it's really kind of cool and the paper this countryside and paper is really nice i really love it so i'm going to go ahead and take my paper because i've already cut up a bunch of pieces and everything and i'm going to put them in my folder here so everything keep straight and I've got my magnets or my dies on my magnet here and let's go ahead and start this card so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a card base five and a half by four and a quarter and it's just basic white and then the stamp for this is just one big stamp so you're gonna need either your stamparatus or they have retired the Stamparatus and the Stampin' Up! catalog, so you'll either have to use like a Misty or Tim Holtz. I'll put a link in the description of the video so you can grab one of these because you will need it for this. So I've already lined this up, and I'm going to take Boho Blue because there's only four colors in the countryside in paper and that is balmy blue boho blue misty moonlight and night of navy so i'm just going to ink this up in boho and let's close it up here and you're going to probably need to stamp this a couple of times even though that looks really good actually um but you're, there's always like a, a part here like I want to get a little darker, so I'll go ahead. Now, I went ahead and haloed that, so let's not push down on that corner very hard so we don't do that. So there's how you stamp the um, image. Now, if you want to, you can take your um, Stampin' Write markers and do every one a different color or every other color, but you have to use your Stampin' Writes. Don't use your blending pens they don't work on stamps. They're like um, like a Copic, uh, so don't do that. You can also not fill your blending pens with your refill inks. It's not the same ink, so don't be fooled by that. But that's how we stamp out this image. Now you're going to need to cut these. Now, as long as you're cutting, you might as well cut them all out because you get little extra pieces. So um, go ahead and take your die, and this is the largest one, and use some tape. You're going to have to get some tape. Now, I use delicate frog tape, and I think it's fantastic. Um, it doesn't rip. You can reuse it a million times, and it's awesome stuff. So, um, now, if you're really um, adventurous, you can go ahead and line these two up and keep going as you cut this whole image out. If you're not um, comfortable doing that, you could just do it one at a time. That's fine. So I'm going to line this one up here and tape it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So I've cut this out and I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and I'm going to take off the tape. Now I cut through it so it will come apart and just gently. And this is a brand new piece of tape and look, it's not hurting my uh, paper at all. And look, there we've got the outline for that. And then we've got these pieces. I'm just going to pull off the tape here, just like that. And then I can keep cutting down. Just keep lining them up. So you're going to take that largest one and put it back on your magnet. And take the second one and put it on the magnet. And get the third one and line it up on your piece. And take the tape. I got a big old chunk of my dog's dog hair on here. Whoopsie. And then I'm going to also grab the next one down. And I'm going to line it up. Then take another piece of tape and line that up. And we're going to die cut it. And we get this. And then put these back. And I'm going to line this one up and tape it and the next one and we're going to tape this and now we're going to cut this one and here are all of our little pieces so that's kind of cool 
Now I'm going to grab a piece of that Countryside in DS paper, and it's this one with the trees on the back, and I'm going to take that largest die, and this paper is cut four by five and a quarter, so and which is just about the size of the length of the die, and I'm going to line it up perfectly. Try not to... Um, um, make it uh, at an angle or anything like that. Try to make it as straight as you possibly can. Because I have, I did have one of these and I cut it kind of crooked and it's like, darn it. So just make sure it is perfect on your paper. And I want you to tape on both ends so it really stays still because you don't want it to be askew. And die cut this. And this is what you're going to get. So take this gorgeous piece of paper and put it in your little envelope thing there and save it because that's a good piece. And we're going to snail this up. You see how skinny it is on these sides here? I mean, it barely fits, so uh, make sure that it's straight. And this is the only kind of hard part is to get it on here without it um, being crooked. So I'm going to put this on. I have to put my head in the camera. Make sure it's the right side up because those little flowers have a... Uh, correct site. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Now I want you to get the largest out of these that we cut and snail that. I like using snail over glue because you can, I think you can adjust it more without uh, mutilating the paper. So that's what I do. So I'm just going to inlay this just like so. Now take the second largest of the dies and snail the back. This is what's on the back of it. It's the little foxy on the back. But the uh, this paper is just really beautiful. And just inlay it like so. Now take this one here and snail that one up. And put it in like that. Now to get this little guy here, these two guys, what you're going to do is you're going to take this paper, this one here, and look for the two guys together. And if you notice there, only in a couple of spots, there's one here and there's one here. I would take the paper and just be um, just be aware of where you're gonna cut. If you're gonna make a six by six this way, then you can grab them right there and tape that down and cut them out. And what you get is this guy. Now just snail it up and we're gonna inlay it. Now I didn't do the inside because what I also did here is I used part of the frames here on the inside. So this is Misty Moonlight here. It's four by five and a quarter. And by the way, all the dimensions, all the items I've used to make the cards and even things that aren't stamped up are in the description of my video. You can just go on there. But this is um, the second largest die. I've taped down both sides so it doesn't wiggle and I'm gonna die cut out the center. And this is what we get. And I'm going to take this paper and put it in one of my folders to keep it. And we're going to snail on the frame. And then going back to those frames that we all cut out, I'm going to take the biggest one that's left and put it on or inlay it on the inside of what we just put down just like so so that's a really quick easy card i'm sorry it's really easy and fast but i do have some stuff for work so i did want to get a card out and um please like and subscribe if you can or go to joyacards.com and uh you can buy my retired stuff you can get cards because all these cards will be on sale and that will do it for me thank you so much bye